So we are in line this morning to get some Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I forgot to make coffee this morning on my rush out the door to bring Amelia to school, which is every morning for us. If you guys have been following this channel, you, you know. you wanna get coffee, do you? <laughs> so it's coffee time. I just got my son Isaiah in the car with me who's requesting a donut and hash browns, of course. And it is a cold, rainy, fall day outside so Again. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna switch things up and get a hot coffee instead of my usual iced. Hot coffee? Big things are happening. <laughs> Take your shoes back now so you're back. Okay, I'll you. Hi, can I please get um a medium pumpkin spice hot coffee with cream and sugar? Medium hot pumpkin spice coffee with cream and sugar already. And then can I get one of your power breakfast sandwiches? And one of the power breakfast sandwiches already. Um a chocolate sprinkled donut and two hash browns. I wanted only a hash brown and a drink. No donut? You didn't want a donut? And a donut. Well, we have orange juice at home, so I'm not ordering it from here. But if you want to save your donut to eat later, you could do that. So I can already tell it's going to be one of those days where I just want to curl up in a ball and hide. I think I'm having my monthly female issues. <laughs> so it's just one of those days for me today, I guess. And the weather doesn't help. But Isaiah and I are back home and hopefully once I get some coffee in me, I can come to life a little bit. Um, I've been working on a few DIY projects in the house. I'm sure some of you are like, Robin, how do you have time to do DIY projects in the house? I don't. <laughs> but I enjoy doing them. They're kind of relaxing. Painting is, at least for me. So, um, and I'm sick of looking at dirty cabinets. We painted my kitchen cabinets when we first moved here two years ago, and we slapped on like the cheapest paint we could. And it's starting to chip away and I'm just sick of looking at it. So I went and bought better paint. It's a little bit darker of a gray color. My cabinets are gray. I'll show you guys. Uh, but the sheen, it's more of like a a little bit shinier than, I think it, is it semi-satin or satin? Whatever, or semi-gloss? I don't know. I can't remember what it was. It's got a little more sheen to it though. So it should be easier to wipe off children's fingerprints. Here is the old gray color and you can see like the paint starting to chip away here. And then this is the new gray color. So it's a little bit darker. I know it's not too big of a difference. I also took the doors off our cabinet here and I think I'm gonna leave it open shelf. This is where we keep just our adult like glass ni nice looking stuff. So I thought if we put some LED lights like under here and at night it would shine on the glass and make it pretty. I don't know, I think I'm gonna leave it open. What do you guys think? <laughs> this is the color of the cabinets. It's cool slate in the gl Glidden. You see? Yeah, the Glidden from the Home Depot. The project that I'm most excited about that I did this weekend is I painted my chairs. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw my post. These chairs, um, they used to be like white and then the seat was wooden. And then I initially painted them this off-white color, but I didn't seal it in. And white with children was such a bad idea because they're little fingerprints got everywhere like literally every single thing the kids did ended up on these chairs and I ended up sanding it all down and I spray painted the chairs instead of like hand paint because it just gave it like more of a smooth look and then I sealed them in which is why they're kind of shiny but they're way easier just to clean off they just look cleaner I think this was new at Home Depot it was the bear paint and primer I used um, like the matte black, but then I used the Rust-Oleum lacquer in 
um, high gloss over top of the matte. So I know that the chairs aren't matte, but I don't know. I don't know what I was doing when I bought it. I'm laying in bed with Cody and Isaiah. Literally feel like I'm dying today. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> But before Isaiah and I have to go to my mom's, which we're going to be there for the whole day because it's Tuesday, yeah. I want to share with you guys something that my sister and I have finally put together for my mom, which is long overdue, but we started a GoFundMe for my mom. As a lot of you guys know, follow my videos, um, her demand and her care is becoming more... Um, ink. <sighs> Her increased care is becoming more demanding now. And Mom, did you see that huge jump? I did see that huge jump. She is moving into 24-hour care, which means that we're having some of her aides and friends and whoever can stay overnight with her. I can't stay overnight with her because my duties at home are too much at night. I put the kids to bed. They get up multiple times during the night. But I am on call throughout the night if the aides need anything or if she needs anything. With that being said, um, paying for these aids out of pocket, I mean, we have aids that come bathe her in the morning through Nascentia, a home care agency, but other than that, my mom pays myself and other aides and nurses to come care for her. And moving into 24-hour care is a huge expense. But my sister and I thought it was time we need to start a, a GoFundMe page. So we did. And I know that everybody's situation at home is different. And these are tough times with COVID. So please don't feel obligated to donate if you don't have the money to. Um, but I do want to put it out there for anyone who is interested. Because I know I have so many supporters. If you guys are interested in donating, I will link it down below for you i'm gonna post it on my facebook page i don't know if i can lin link it on my instagram but <laughs> trying to have a conversation with a toddler bye <laughs> we just started zay i'm chilling like a villain you need to chilling like a villain I'm just going to go ahead and suggest that you guys never take your couch cushions off. Mom, I just like this. What do we got in here, Zay? Cars, gems, Legos. Well, I don't know what this is. Yeah. We need a coda. Mom, you don't need to bring your keys. Do you have one? Yeah. We've been getting <laughs> donations in from the GoFundMe that I actually posted to my Facebook today, even though this video is going to be posted tomorrow, but every donation that comes in, my mom bursts into tears. <laughs> okay. Hop in. Okay. This afternoon went by fast. And I'm glad because I'm just kind of like tired today. Um, but we're going to get Amelia and then we're going to go pick up a mini Target order. I got the kids two little tiny toys. So the kids in order to get toys have to earn 20 points and in I our get, house. And I get to get a bottle. Right. <laughs> so they can earn points by keeping their rooms clean or cleaning Not up clean. a mess. Hang on Zay. 
um, taking, helping taking care of the dog, so making sure he's got water in his dish or food, um, and letting Cody in and out, um, and other things that I deem point worthy. <laughs> Making sure their dishes um, for meals get into the sink, things like that. So Isaiah has chosen, they both earned their 20 points yesterday. He picked a new, Isaiah picked a new Nerf blaster and I got Amelia this like five surprise um, toy thing. Yeah. I do not want the darts all over the house. And no putting Play-Doh down it. Only darts. Oh look, speaking of Nerf blasters, there's one in my car floor. What? How did that even get in here? I don't know. I don't know either, Zaya. Amelia's and Zaya's. Can I start from the bottom? Okay, so now we're starting over with points. Shift number two with my best girl. Uh huh. Girl team. And I brought a big snack. Mm hmm. We got snacks. Snack. Back over to Mima's. Uh huh. So the boys are nowhere to be found, and my guess is that Amir had a delivery, so he probably took Isaiah with him. So it's just Amelia and I home, but I'm gonna get started on dinner. It is Taco Tuesday tonight. you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow i know you're gonna be the girl that i'll end up calling my own we ride around in style sleeves rolled up glasses on and then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when i'm with you You've been cleaning your brother's room this whole time? Uh-huh. Amelia! I didn't see it. It's that's surprise. like it's just like messy. Okay, let's close our eyes. Oh my wow! Oh, right a little parking lot for his cars. How sweet, Meal. And you made his bed? Thank you so much. You can get two points for that. The kids are asleep. I just was laying down with Isaiah for the past half hour and I watched this video on Facebook where these low income kids had to pick between a gift for their parents or themselves and they picked the gift for their parents and I started bawling my eyes out. <laughs> so that's why I was crying because I'm so emotional when it's that time of the month for me. Um... And literally, I could see a commercial and it would make me cry. So I'm going to spend the rest of the night watching TV. And I just heated up my corn pillow, so we're going to be best friends tonight. <laughs> and yeah, I'm probably just going to relax on my phone for a little bit and um, edit this vlog tomorrow because I just can't tonight. 
Alright you guys, I love you. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget that I'm going to be linking the GoFundMe for my mom down below. Um, like I said earlier, no pressure if you cannot donate. Please don't, you know, if you um, are not financially able to. Your love and support is more than enough for us. So we love you and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said, it's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't wait